Hello group number one, welcome to today's reading. Today we're doing what are people's assumptions about you. Before I start the reading, I just want to say that if you like my videos, you constantly watch them and if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I think 80% of my viewers are not subscribed. So please subscribe guys, help the channel out. So yeah, let's start with today's reading. This is the card you chose, number six clouds. So six makes me think of Venus and the clouds. Uh, makes me think of Rahu. Some of you could have a uh, Venus-Rahu conjunction. Uh, if you don't know what Rahu is, it's North Node of the Moon, okay? So I'm getting that. Maybe some Saturn involvement also with the coffee. It's making me think of Saturn. Maybe trying to each other or there's some Venus, Saturn, Rahu energy going on here. Maybe Venus in Aquarius because Aquarius is co-ruled by Saturn and Rahu. I'll come back to the card, but let's keep going. We have the book here, number 22. See, again, we have 22, which adds to 4, Rahu's number. For Nakshatra, you got Purva Falguni. Strong Leo energy so far. Also, I'm getting with this pile. We have Panther, Fire energy. Actually, I'm going to keep it like, wait. We have Letter, Ink, making me think of Saturn again. We have Ace of Rods, which is Ace of Wands. I'm going to keep this one here. Okay. It's also making me think of the Knight of Cups is what I'm getting. And the funny thing, we got Cups here as well. So Cups energy is coming through. You could have a strong water element in your chart. Fire also. Making me think of air also here. So yeah, lots of different things, but let's start the reading with what I'm seeing right here. First of all, there could be a lot of assumptions about you. With this uh, cloud energy, it can speak about having confusion, having a lot of thoughts. This card is also connected with daydreaming. So people might daydream about you a lot. Maybe they have fantasies about you or there's a lot of uh, questions in their head about you. What kind of a person you are, pile number one. Or you might stir up a lot of uh, feelings, emotions within other people. Uh, naturally people are curious about you okay there could be a lot of uh, maybe if you text or newer people that you talk to there's some sort of communication people might tend to think about what you say they might harp on certain things they might focus on certain things quite a lot and there's something about you with your speech your communication that is very I don't know prone to people's imagination or people fantasizing about you. There could be a lot of um, romantic feelings also towards you because we do have Venus energy here. We have fire, a bit of fire, water. Water is connected to emotions, emotional connection, stirring up of the emotions and feelings. That's water element. And then we have fire, which can speak about passion. Panther, the animal panther itself is uh, connected to passion. And also we see here uh, just the image. It's like... Uh, I don't know, it's like the animal is all fired up. So lots of excitement, lots of passion people might feel towards you. And also with communication, this letter card making me think of communication. And here we see the open mouth, which can talk about uh, communication and wanting to talk to you. This here, uh, here we see the written word, something written, letter. We have the hand, we have the book, and we have the hand here also. So there's a lot of movement, there's a lot of energy I'm picking up with this particular pile. I feel like out of the three piles, this is the pile where people might have the most assumptions. People, you might be the most popular one out of the three piles where people naturally tend to um, assume things about you, talk a lot about you. There's a With the tea cup, it's about gossip as well, right? What's the tea? So a lot of people naturally drawn towards talking about you, wondering about you. There's a lot of curiosity surrounding you. Either you're very popular, you're in the public eye or you're attractive, you're good looking. Somehow you catch people's attention. We do have Leo energy here with the Purva Falguni. So it's uh, connected to the sign of Leo. It falls in Leo's sign and Purva Falguni is ruled by Venus which can talk about good looks, someone who's creative. A lot of celebrities also, especially people who work in film industry, tend to have Purva Falguni placements because this uh, energy is connected with romanticism and uh, someone who's beautiful and it's very uh, 
क्रिएटिव ब्यूटिफुल फेमिन सॉर्ट ऑफ एनर्जी एज वेल और समन हुज रोमांटिक सो दैट्स एंड ऑल्सो कनेक्शन विद वीनस दैट्स वाई आई पुट इट ऑन लाइक अ पिंक कार्ड हियर सो हैमक ऑल्सो मेक्स मी थिंक ऑफ अ पर्सन लेइंग ऑन अ हैमक जस्ट रिलैक्सिंग एंड देन थिंकिंग अबाउट यू डे ड्रीमिंग दैट्स दी एनर्जी एम पिकिंग अप स्ट्रॉग राहू लाइक ए सैड राहू वीनस वेर पीपल फैंटिसाइज अबाउट यू पीपल आर अब्सेस विद यू राहू कैन टॉक अबाउट अब्सेशन राहू कैन ऑल्सो टॉक अबाउट न्यू बिगिनिंग्स और वॉर्निंग टू स्टार्ट समथिंग विद सम वन एंड राहू लाइक ए सैड इट्स अब्सेशन इट्स ऑल्सो इंटरनेट सो पीपल मे बी स्पाइंग ऑन योर सोशल मीडिया दे लाइक लुकिंग एट योर प्रोफाइल दे ड्रीमिंग और दे लाइक कनेक्टिंग विद यू लॉट्स ऑफ पीपल माइट टेन टू बी लुकिंग ऑन योर सोशल मीडिया और यू कुड बी लाइक समन हु हैज़ अ सोशल मीडिया प्रेजेंस मे बी और यू डू हैव द पोटेंशियल टू डू दैट यू हैव द पोटेंशियल टू इन्फ्लुएंस अदर पीपल राहू कैन ऑल्सो टॉक अबाउट कन्फ्यूजन so there could be a lot of confusion about you what kind of a person you are so people might just assume things even though they don't know you so the energy is very active from the other side what people are assuming basically and also i want to go back to the gossip so naturally gossiping about you asking people about you or there could be some people who don't like you with this angry sort of a look i'm getting this energy that maybe some people talk about you they gossip about you they talk bad about you maybe and then there's this romantic energy also that i'm picking up a lot of people having romantic feelings for you so and uh, lots of energy is coming through with a lot of different people with different agendas overall the uh, assumptions about you i feel like is people don't know a whole lot they want to figure you out they might find you charming attractive and with the book this can also talk about a person who's uh, the funny thing is it's a closed book so it's like you're closed there's a wall up you're not accessible to other people right but then i see some social energy also here with interaction with communication with this fire energy of being a little dynamic this energy is connected with wanting to cut things out of your life so you might come across as a person who's a little cutthroat or you don't easily accept people you're a little closed off or you could also be blunt with your speech so people might assume that you're a little fiery you're a little impulsive you could be hot headed also uh, and uh, but you're communicative you're chirpy and with this fire energy of ace of wands this is that energy of someone who's very active always moving about or very vibrant bright sort of a personality maybe you're very social also you like interacting with other people you like being the center of attention or naturally you are put into that position somehow because we see this uh, leo energy also here leo is about someone who's in the public eye someone who's a leader people look up to such a person a person who's influential and we have fire energy here also which is about being a little active and very vibrant grabbing people's attention or uh, someone who's confident someone who's magnetic we see some cloud imagery being repeated here as well so that is interesting and also can be intelligent with this book book is about uh, intelligence someone who likes reading maybe okay there's a lot of uh, different things that i'm picking up let's keep moving though for astrology you got sun see i was getting strong sun energy so you did get purva falguni which falls in the zodiac sign of leo and we have sun here we have the 7th house let's just keep it here I'm gonna move this one here. So sun gets debilitated in the sign of Libra. This is not Libra, but seventh house is making me think of Libra. So again, it's about a person who's in the public eye, who's connecting with a lot of people. I've seen people with this placement who are in business because seventh house or Libra energy is naturally mercantile. It's also connected with dealing with a lot of people and partnerships also. So I feel like you. There's a lot of fantasies about being in a relationship with you. Seventh house is that romantic uh, relationship sort of energy. For others, I also see people might assume, okay, if I date this person, we'll be a power couple. I'm getting that strongly. Also, um, building up the confidence. 
or just being uh, having a partner like you would uh, be validating to other people they might feel like okay now i've done something or uh, if this person approves of me they want to date me that means i am someone significant so it's like a uh, ego boost also for some people okay getting a person like you then i'm also seeing your ability you could be someone who's really good with people social skills for some of you picking this pile if you're more the introverted or you don't date a lot it's because uh, sun gets debilitated in the sign of libra so maybe you guys don't like to date you don't like to maybe compromise you like your freedom or uh, i don't know maybe you're not the most romantic possibly so it can go either way if there's a lot of affliction then it might not work in that fa favorable manner but basically sun gets debilitated in 7th it's because you have to let go of the ego you have to let go of the sense of self which is sun i and 7th is you or we okay then uh, there was one more message i was getting okay yeah some of you could have like i said placements of a uh, sun in libra sun in the 7th house you could have libra ascendant sun in the 1st house something like this could be there you could also have sun in 12th which can sometimes talk about a person who's not confident who likes isolation they don't like being around a lot of people that's for very very few people picking this pile but uh, maybe some of you are not the most social there's affliction there so you like your isolation you like being on your own you might not have a lot of friends also you might not like connecting with a lot of people but overall this energy of people having a lot of assumptions about you lots of confusion also about you let's see what we have here we have the heart so again it's that fifth house energy because um i'm getting strong leo with sun sun rules the zodiac sign of leo it's also connected to our heart space fifth house and we have the heart here as well we have uh, the riddle so what i'm getting here is there's a ro romantic energy that's coming through so either a lot of people want to date you and they have this romantic feeling towards you they assume that um you're someone who's romantic you wear your heart on your sleeve you could be very charming flirtatious also so people would just naturally assume like this person likes to date they like being they like having a partner or you could also be someone where people assume this particular side of you but in relationships you're quite different okay so i'm getting that also with the riddle it's like you're a little confusing with this cloud imagery we have the riddle so people trying to figure you out people being confused about you there's a lot of assumptions about you especially the people who don't know you might assume a lot of things that are not accurate that's what i'm getting and you could also have a conflicting energy where uh, you might say contradictory things that confuses people so they're like this person is just uh, i cannot figure them out so you might have this tendency to uh, maybe contradict yourself or say uh, things that are kind of polar opposites and it confuses people but it also creates a sense of chemistry in their head about you where they like you because you're just this cognitive dissonance if you're familiar with that term that's what i'm getting it creates a spark it creates a chemistry here with the heart it's a lot of people wanting to connect with your heart space wanting to date you they might people assume that you would be a great partner you would be a lot of fun in relationships and you're very romantic this is what people assume about you relationships are very important to you or you would make a good partner these are some of the things people assume about you also that you're a little contradicting confusing and uh, it's like you are also trying to figure yourself out i want to pull some tarot i'm doing things differently today i felt like i should pull some cards while i do the reading so i'm going to pull a few tarot cards uh, what are people's assumptions about pile number 1 spirit what are people's assumptions about pile number 1 spirit we have the hierophant king of pentacles here similar sort of imagery what are people's assumptions let me pull a couple more we have the moon 
we have okay we have the ten of cups in reverse and four of swords in reverse so what i'm seeing here first of all you got two major arcana so again a person who makes their presence felt someone who's uh, grabs the attention see i was getting that earlier also with moon it, it can talk about looks also someone who's good looking and a little dreamy again i'm getting that daydreamy uh energy of fantasizing about you higher fantasy connected to connection wanting to date you looking for commitment but we also have the 10 of cups in reverse so it's it gives me that energy of people feeling somewhere a little insecure it's like they assume that you might not be open to them or you might also come across as a heartbreaker pile number 1 and because you are this uh, conflicting person you might be a little hot and cold and people might assume one day they feel like okay pile number 1 um things with them might work out but then next day you might see something where they feel like i don't see long term commitment with this person okay they assume you to be a person of high value with king of pentacles it's like you're intelligent you're mature maybe or you say really wise stuff we have the book here which talks about wisdom and you have a way with words you're very charming or just the way you speak or the way you communicate is very attractive pile number 1 so people assume that you're looking for the long term thing or uh you have money you're a person of high value you're intelligent you have some knowledge wisdom but at the same time somewhere they feel like uh you could be a heartbreaker also you're a little moody with moon it can talk about waxing and waning so a person who's a little hot and cold uh, you're hard to figure out if you're interested in someone pile number 1 i think you should always make it clear to the person because a lot of people might assume you're not interested you just have this energy where people just assume uh they're not sure about your you and your feelings and also uh, people might waver they're not steady they're always changing up their mind about you so you give this confusing energy and this is what they assume about you as well where they feel like i'm not really sure about pile number 1 so i don't know how to make up my mind and i cannot really move forward or act on it okay but overall the assumptions let's talk about uh, non romantic uh, people or connections in your life people might assume you to be very intelligent uh, some might even feel like uh, you're a little show off or just this energy of okay this person is a little proud of themselves because of their knowledge okay they might also see that uh, you're changeable you're not steady and you're emotional i feel like uh, pile number 1 you have this uh, tendency to open up your heart and you might um normally let's say you don't really share your feelings but every now and then you'll say something so when you get emotional you you could also come across as someone who's sensitive emotionally sensitive person and uh, very sweet gentle sort of energy you're not the sort of person sometimes you might get a little hyper or a little aggressive but overall you have a more of a gentle sort of energy people just feel like uh you try to act a little hard or a little cool even though you're not like that you're a little more sensitive than that yeah that's what i'm getting hmm so yeah i'm picking up some things here also but you also come across as a person maybe you are a little non traditional you're looking for things where you have a different perspective on relationships maybe or commitment so people feel like you're you do things differently maybe you don't want a traditional uh, sort of a relationship you don't want to settle down you want to travel a little bit more or i don't know you're in that phase where people just assume that you're not ready to settle down that's for some of you not for all of you but uh you do things differently and people sometimes feel a clash of opinions with you and you could also be someone who changes their opinion quite frequently let's say you learn something new every year it's like there's a change in your principles and uh, you're always learning something new and changing okay so you might actually gel better with people who have more air and uh, fire placements than people who have earth and water placements because 
those are slightly heavier very stubborn very that energy of someone who's very fixed and you're someone who likes to keep on moving keep on changing this was the panther's energy panther doesn't like stagnancy panther always wants change always wants some actions being very proactive cutting the clutter getting rid of people who are slow and who weigh you down it's that energy of always looking for the next thing and um growing evolving right so you need that uh, dynamic energy in your life you might do better with people who have placements in air and fire signs so that's the reading for you pile number 1 i hope this resonates let me know your thoughts in the comments if you want to book a reading with me the links will be in the description you can go check out the kofi shop for the readings that i offer and email me as well the email is there that's it thank you for watching bye guys hello group number 2 welcome to today's reading today we're doing what are people's assumptions about you before i start the reading i just want to say if you've not subscribed and you watch my videos you enjoy them then please consider subscribing that would help me out if you guys i'm also kind of thinking about maybe when i hit 10000 i will do like a giveaway a free reading giveaway let's see i'm not really sure would you guys be interested in that should i do like a giveaway i don't know i was just thinking about this so anyway please subscribe <laughs> um today's video i'm starting out with a few oracle i'm going to pull some tarot okay later on in the reading so you chose this card we have the clover number 2 making me think of the moon here the number 2 is connected to the planet moon we have the high priestess there was a lot of energy coming through in this pile of just mysticism tarot occult someone who's very intuitive psychic maybe a light worker we have thought here we have size we have owl see owl is also connected to psychic abilities we have the coffin as well number 6 maybe venus and moon conjunction in your chart for nakshatra you got vishakha which is also connected to libra energy libra scorpio cusp i think yeah so what i'm seeing here overall first of all there could be a lot of intuitive wisdom that you carry you could also be someone who's uh, good at picking up signs and synchronicity so there's a lot of spiritual knowledge that you carry and people just know that about you there's this aura and this energy you know usually you can assume a person's energy the way they are some people are very straightforward very blunt very um impulsive the other people who are more passive uh who are ob just observing they're very they come across as intellectuals right and very observant very mysterious that's your energy pile number 2 kind of opposite to pile number 1 we do have the moon which is about like i said you come across as feminine passive not the most in your face sort of a person very subdued and you do have this uh, spiritual knowledge spiritual wisdom that you carry with our also this is connected to goddess lakshmi so someone who's feminine divine feminine you could uh, you come across as a feminine person pile number 2 if you're a guy watching this then maybe you just uh, are very sensitive and uh, maybe women feel more comfortable in your presence or you are very emotionally um, mature there's some feminine qualities that i'm picking up here thought is also more of the passive sort of uh, activity right we have moon here we have the high priestess we have the owl so there's so much here about uh, just being intuitive being feminine maybe it's talking about your good looks also with moon it does give good looks and maybe a round face i'm also drawn towards the owl's face you could have big eyes maybe your eyes are very i don't know alluring so people just assume you to be a little mysterious they don't know a whole lot about you you can also come across as someone moody um because moon can make a person moody moon waxes and wanes it's that energy of uh, not being the most stable there's a flow water also flows right it's not exactly consistent so you could have prominent let's say moon in your chart maybe moon in the first house moon in the seventh house maybe moon with the highest degree cancer ascendant moon in fourth so some of these placements could be there maybe moon is sitting in vishakha maybe you have debilitated 
moon as well that also becomes a prominent moon and i've seen people who are intuitive who are into these um occult practices eighth house themes they have some connection of uh, scorpio in the chart so and also maybe moon ketu south node of the moon moon and ketu conjunction those people tend to have amazing intuition so moon in scorpio moon in the 8th house maybe moon conjunct mars but yeah somehow moon is prominent in your chart maybe your name has some sort of a meaning that's similar to moon moonlight something like this could be there but you're very thoughtful and you you could also be sensitive people assume that you're very sensitive you get easily hurt you could also come across as someone emotional i feel and size also making me think of a person who's been hurt in the past so people just look at you and they feel like oh this person slightly moody or gloomy maybe they've been hurt in the past uh, they uh, don't trust people easily they don't let everyone in so that sort of energy also i'm picking up someone maybe people assume that you've been hurt in the past we also have coffin which can talk about a loss and also coffin makes me feel like there's a wall there's uh, some closed off energy that you carry so you don't show or express your emotions very freely owl is also connected to the night time right owl is also connected to intelligence so people assume you to be intelligent you're very observant owl is also giving me that energy of someone who's watching you so very uh, observant energy very passive energy but uh, people notice you and you have a strong aura also with clover this can talk about an abundant person someone who's very generous giving so even though you have this energy someone might assume oh this is negative no it's not because your overall energy is someone that people assume that you have a good heart that you're generous you're kind maybe you have kind eyes but your energy is very welcoming because this moon energy usually people are very open to moon dominant people these are the people where people go and uh, talk about their emotional stuff they let go of their emotional baggage they open up about their emotional trauma or relationship troubles uh, generally with people who are strong prominent moon this is the energy they attract so people just assume that you care about them that you're empathetic you're you have high eq and you also have this bright side to you with this clover it's very i don't know it's that fun positive energy jupiter energy it's giving me actually some of you could have moon and jupiter conjunction also it makes a person very optimistic and even if they face a lot of challenges in life in their life with this coffin some difficult energy here they kind of move on they learn the lesson they gain some wisdom from it they don't let it affect their character or their um outlook on life so overall what i'm getting is a person who's very helpful generous people assume good th- good things about you they assume you to be a good person having good character but also someone who's been through some difficult experiences and uh, someone who's very feminine a little closed off with vishaka this can also talk about split also making me think of person who's maybe had a difficult past or uh, especially in relationships maybe have been hurt but vishaka is that split which uh, maybe people assume different things about you so some people misjudge you some people uh, think good things about you so it creates that split also and people might also see this uh, change in your personality um like a split personality someone who's can who can be very uh, quiet shy receptive introverted but also can be fun sometimes and very bright and uh, very positive outgoing as well so you have the split thing going on you have these two different sides to your personality maybe one side you don't show to everyone yeah that's what i'm getting so far let's keep going for astrology you got aquarius and mars so mars is also giving me that scorpio energy again and mars is also uh, since it rules the scorpio sign i think it's giving me more of that eighth house energy scorpio energy in this pile Mars is also the researcher someone who goes to the bottom of things so very observant again very passionate very dedicated you could also come across as someone intense or you find it hard to let things go okay maybe you hold on to grudges that's the feeling i'm getting with the mars here aquarius again um it says the radical someone who's different so your approach if you get hurt you react in such a way that's slightly different 
and just the kind of person you are maybe your hobbies your interests are very different so you're a little bit of a dark horse it says right here on the card group oriented so someone who i think you bring something to the group that no one else does that's what i'm getting and detached also it says detached free radical so broad minded person very open to knowledge very open to learning here we have the kiss and the destroyer some of you could be shiva devotees destroyer is making me think of lord shiva okay so one message i'm getting straight away is a, a lot of people might assume you to be very i don't know it's like you repress your sexual or that side of yours the romantic side you repress it and there's a desire that you need to unlock it so people assume that there's this a uh, freaky side to you or the side of yours that is i don't know it's like you project a certain image people assume that you want to project a certain image so there are different uh, parts of you that you don't show which exist and also that people feel like maybe you should be a little more open and you should be a little more upfront and let yourself go and just be more free yeah that's what i'm getting it's like you hide this side of yours or uh, you come across as a little too serious sometimes people assume you to be a little serious or that you're hiding your romantic side and uh, uh, maybe a lot of expectations on you or just you trying to create or what's the word curate a certain image of yours but you also have this dark side also with destroyer this can talk about a person who's a little harsh a little blunt and someone who's i don't know it's like someone who would cut you off not the sweet gentle soul that people assume you to be but you have this darker side also with this kiss it can talk about like a romantic side that you hide away or you don't show maybe you're a very romantic at heart you're very i don't know like hopeless romantic some of you could have anuradha nakshatra placements so people just assume that the different sides to your personality that you hide and you just only try to show this one particular side but there are other sides to you as well this uh, more romantic fun vibrant side and this dark side where you uh, are not the nice or not the nicest or this very sweet innocent sort of a vibe that you give off most of the time is the exact opposite the fear side maybe uh, some anger issues or people just assume you do have a temper that you don't show so that is very um i don't know polarizing i feel like might not be the message for every single person but uh, yeah i want to pull some tarot for you pile number 2 let's see what comes out okay so let's see what are people's assumptions about pile number 2 spirit what are people's assumptions we have ace of cups and the king of coins in reverse what are people's assumptions about pile number 2 four of cups there's a lot of cups energy lots of uh, um i think it's talking about your emotional side and also your romantic side people's assumptions we have moon see speaking of moon the moon card came out we have the fool and at the bottom we have the ace of wands so see it's that fiery passionate side we have ace here also ace of cups is usually connected with expressing your emotions so and it's holding you back with this king of coins in reverse maybe people just assume that your past is holding you back or someone in your family or this could be a person sometimes i associate quotes uh, quote cards with a person a personality so maybe a person that's holding you back or um some principles that you have something like that maybe traditional values or the stream also makes me think of stability home environment maybe a family member something like this where there's a strong person in your life that has a strong influence over you or this could be your morals and principles something like that could be there 
maybe your religion or something like this i don't know i'm getting that however take the message only if it resonates this could also be your past maybe a past connection that hurt you so people assume that um there's something that holds you back and you are this romantic at heart and you are very expressive you are very emotional you want to share your feelings but something holds you back so people assume that uh, there's something holding you back and there's also this emotional side to you that you don't show we have four of cups so people just assume that again it's about expressing your emotions and also uh not dating maybe you don't date a lot or uh, there's a reason you don't date or uh, maybe your opinions or your views on relationships something about that is coming through you don't date a lot four of cups is that energy of rejection you reject people or you're not the most romantic so people assume that there's something going on maybe something past or i don't know there's a lot of uh, energy here where people are assuming about you because you don't share so people cook up stories people are trying to figure out what's the reason we do have the moon and the fool which tells me that um you come across as someone sensitive people assume you that uh, assume that you are sensitive we have lot of water imagery here as well and uh, you have spiritual knowledge you are very intuitive and you have this fun side also to yourself you are this you can be the serious person the serious mature high priestess energy but you can also be the goofy person with the fool so people assume that there are different sides to your personality that's one thing and also that you're sensitive you get hurt emotionally and you care a lot you have big emotions your uh, sensitive soul very soft also soft and kind very gentle person you could be a foodie also fond of eating fond of traveling fond of new experiences very curious intelligent person always looking to learn something new so people assume that you're fun but there's something about your i don't know emotional state it's like you don't completely open up there's a feeling that uh, people get from you that wow this person so fun but something i wish they were more open that's the main energy i'm getting here overall what i'm seeing is uh, the opinions are a little changeable with this moon energy and also a little moody sort of energy i'm picking up here and uh, you have the ability to heal people's emotions people might come to you uh to express their emotions to talk about the things that uh bring them down maybe some people even cry in front of you because you have this emotional nurturing sort of a nature but you don't uh reciprocate you don't open up and there's a desire maybe people want you to open up a little bit more so yeah that's what i'm getting overall the assumptions that i'm getting is a uh, uh overall good things are coming through people assume that you're a good person you're a kind person you have good uh heart and you want to help people you also have this calm energy where people feel more at peace at home around you and uh, they want to connect with you in a deeper way yeah that's what i'm getting like a emotionally intelligent person someone very kind caring and sweet feminine sort of a person and also this side to you that you don't share maybe when you fall for someone you have feelings for someone you don't share and they have to kind of they are left guessing is this person interested in me or not so yeah let me know how much this resonates let me know your thoughts whoever is picking pile number 2 i'm really interested in this so let's see there's also some split personality that i'm picking up here maybe so there were some messages i didn't pick up on you can tell me as well okay So yeah that was the reading pile number 2 let me know if it resonates leave your comments if you want to book a reading with me uh, the links will be in the description my email is there my kofi shop is there so look it up and uh, you can become a member if you want to support the channel thanks for watching bye guys hello group number 3 welcome to today's reading today we're doing what are people's assumptions about you so before i start the reading i just want to say um I think 80% of the viewers are not subscribed to my channel so if you watch my channel if you like my videos please consider subscribing I'm considering doing a reading giveaway when I hit 10k so let me know if you guys would like that uh it's still some time before that happens let's see 
so anyway you chose the card lilies okay number 30 making me think of jupiter with the number three i'm gonna start out with a few of these cards that i have here we have lilies again so yeah lilies came out in two decks this one as well so yeah you got lilies twice that's lovely it says here happy life and family um okay no not this one <laughs> Lying over. Okay, basically happy life. It's a good symbol. I'm going to talk about lilies when I come back to this card. But let's just see what you got. We have the dog here. This also came out in one of the recent readings. We have Swati for Nakshatra. Falls in Libra. We have Vulture. We have Dragonfly. Both are from the air element. Swati is also connected to air. We have gift and we have the tower, Mars energy here. Mars has some connection with Swati also. So overall what I'm seeing here, first of all let's talk about lilies. Lilies, first we see the white color which is connected to innocence, purity, naivety. Um, it's also connected to beauty. So maybe there's something um here that's speaking about your beauty we do have the gift and it is making me the gems and uh, whatever the stuff is it's making me think of taurus sign we have a uh, beauty here which also is connected to, to taurus so some of you could have placements in taurus you could have rahu conjunct venus i already got that also rahu also is uh, connected to swati i'm getting rahu from this dragonfly image Ketu also here. You could have Ar Ardra placement, Swati placement. Okay, maybe Mars in Swati, Mars conjunct Rahu. You could have uh, maybe Libra ascendant. Anyway, I'll t come back to the astrology bit. What I'm picking up so far is beauty. So you could be very beautiful. You could also be someone who's peaceful. Maybe you don't like a lot of, uh, what do you call it? Mm, fighting arguments you you like to bring peace there's a diplomatic harmonious energy that i'm picking up here someone who likes people to get along maybe you have good social skills also you bring people together uh, you don't like conflict you might avoid conflict with this tower uh, energy maybe um, you're good at resolving conflict you're also good with taking on challenges you move forward very easily vulture is connected with clearing up the dirt and basically the what the work of the vulture is it's cleaning off the bones and it gets rid of the bones and stuff you know the dirty work that no one else is willing to do it's like you're someone who's uh, very kind considering to other people people assume that um things you do things in such a way where you don't get bogged down easily and uh, you can deal with conflict really well. You have good conflict resolution skills. You're very diplomatic also. People might assume that this person never takes side. They're so diplomatic. White color is also connected to peace. So you like peace and harmony. You prioritize that over um, sticking up for someone maybe. So you do have loyalty. It's like you're loyal to people. People see that... Uh, you are loyal to the people that you care about but you also you will uh, also guide them instead of uh, being a yes man you won't be a yes man you will teach them the right thing to do so you have this quality pile number three that uh, you come across as very wise you see the bigger picture you help people you're a um, person who likes to not just move forward but bring along people with you so you think about other people also you're very gifted you have a certain talents that are very special people notice that uh, you could be everyone's favorite also i'm picking up some rohini energy with gift maybe people shower you with gifts people shower you with compliments everyone likes you you might have that uh, tendency that uh, you don't have any haters or everyone likes you you're also someone that people might uh, let's say if someone doesn't like you they'll never say it on your face okay so people notice that about you how you have such good skills you can get along with any person and you can bring peace in any situation 
there's also some real uh, regal sort of a energy that you carry you come across as someone who's very regal very holy maybe with this lily this is the symbol of regality in older times so someone who commands respect someone who commands um people's attention and people tend to listen to you so the assumptions people have is uh, some people could think of you as someone manipulative with this uh, dragonfly rahu energy it's like you manipulate people or you charm people you have such good skills you have good communication skills where you just uh, get your point across and everyone listens to you everyone agrees with you okay and some people don't see the bad they see how you're doing um good work you're helping other people you're not selfish so overall what i'm seeing is people's assumptions of you there's a lot of uh, different energies coming through there's a lot of different uh, messages coming through but people assume you to be some sort of a leader okay with swati this is independent person someone who here also we have coral here we have gifts crystals all of that so yeah it's talking about beauty for sure people assume that uh, you could have pretty privilege or you influence people you magnetize people uh, you are a little manipulative maybe some people might assume that but overall the energy is good people think that you're a team player you're loyal and you're trustworthy and you're very diplomatic that's what i'm getting some of you could have venus and saturn conjunction also because i'm getting saturn energy with vulture and also with the dog also making me think of saturn but diplomacy and uh, flowers in general beauty in general uh, someone who's um, good at bringing people together that's very venus like quality so venus and saturn prominent probably some of you could ha also have maybe capricorn placements you have saturn here 11th house see saturn did come out i didn't see the cards before uh i was making that point so saturn is here you are the wise person in the group friends group 11th house can be the social circle the network or um, your friend circle so the people that you know your colleagues or your network whatever the overall circle you are the wise one everyone kind of looks for your approval you could also come across as older than your age or you look older or the, you have this old wise energy you know some people say old soul that's your energy and you always do the right thing you're very professional you could also come across as someone who's slightly less romantic so people might see this person's uh, they might just assume that you're very cold and a little uh unromantic sort of a person like very traditional and uh, i don't know shy introverted that sort of energy not the most ex expressive with your communication very professional you keep things very um professional non emotional that's what i'm getting um even though you come across as someone easy to talk to might not be the most friendly or let's say you might not have a big friend circle so people assume you to be a loner also for some of you people might assume you like isolation you like being on your own um you like staying single maybe or having very few friends very detached sort of a person people assume that you're not looking for human connections you're looking um i don't know what you're looking for that's the energy people get but uh, still you're easy to talk to easy to get along with and you are a team player here we have the nectar we have the queen so there's some sensual energy also i'm picking up where people because uh, you don't date you are not romantic so sometimes it does happen where people like unavailable people so a lot of people might be drawn towards you because of that or also because they've never seen you dating they've never seen you in like a romantic light or in that energy so that might also draw people towards you they want to see your sensual side with this nectar but with the queen again like i was earlier saying that leader quality you come across as someone very self assured very um confident and uh, sure of yourself so people like that about you they feel like um i don't know they just assume that with this uh, lotus also i'm getting anuradha person who likes to stay at a distance 
but it is giving me some maybe people just assume that the romantic side are a little repressed or you don't show your emotions so they just assume that uh, you have this side you're just repressing it it's hidden somewhere there somewhere there or you might be someone who hides uh, your romantic life you don't share that too much so people just assume this person doesn't share about their romantic uh, interests or their uh, love life but people assume that there's something going on because you do have that side see here also even though it's a satin card we see a little bit of pink in the back so what i'm getting overall is a person who's a little slightly mysterious a little shy reserved it's not that trying to be mysterious like the second pile which is very feminine energy very moon this is more just person uh, holds back a little bit a little introverted sort of energy okay so people assume you to be uh, someone who's shy reserved introverted but uh, you're very confident and sure of yourself you just don't like to uh, be very social or to connect with too many people you just like doing your own thing uh, you might like isolation you might have uh, 12th house placements maybe pisces placements or uh, maybe you're a little lost in your thoughts very imaginative and um, curious mind intelligent person yeah that's what i'm getting so far with the queen uh, you do have some feminine qualities feminine traits where people notice you they see your beauty also nectar is also connected to sensuality and the queen can talk about the empress archetype the feminine archetype so if you're a female picking this pile you come across as highly feminine and the empress archetype where um people see how uh, i don't know very passive beautiful sort of energy i'm getting it's good lilies also came out twice so definitely you have good looks and you come across as person who's very uh, pure of heart very um, easy going easy to get along with harmonious person someone who's generous helps other people has good reputation also because uh, lilies are connected to legacy also legacy and someone uh, who's royal so that royal sort of queen sort of energy is coming through strongly if you're a male person picking this pile then you come across as someone who's slightly more reserved slightly more in touch with your femininity and uh, maybe looking for a person who's uh, kind of like you not the most expressive and not the most you might not be overly romantic with people but you have this romantic side you have this romantic vibe maybe uh, some of you picking this pile you listen to very romantic music and people just notice there's some romantic uh, energy around you okay and also very good looking someone who takes care of themselves with the nectar you could have really good uh, health and vitality also so very attractive person a lot of people are drawn towards you you're just very i don't know a little closed off this is giving me like four of cups vibes so having options but not really being interested in them so you're hard to impress you might also play a little hard to get so some people they just assume uh, that you, um, you might be interested but you play it cool okay and uh, you give up this energy where you act like you don't want to date or you don't you're not interested in that but uh, you are so people just assume okay this person's just uh, not being upfront about their feelings okay so there's something else going on with this dragonfly this can also talk about illusion so people might pick up on those things people might also call you out they might figure things out with you second pile was more intuitive it was more hard to judge it, it was changeable with this pile i feel like people actually uh, figure things out even though you might uh, act aloof people still might catch up on to things okay i want to pull some tarot for you i pull tarot on screen for all the piles today so let's see what comes through what are people's assumptions about pile number 3 spirit what are people's assumptions about pile number 3 spirit what do people assume about pile number 3 okay that's two so i will not take that oops that's too many 
okay this one almost came out we have the death in reverse we have the fool in reverse see there's some um, hesitation in reaching out to people and uh, death can talk about endings so ending things cutting things off we also see the person carrying like this weapon or a sith or i don't know what you call this uh jeshta nakshatra energy with this umbrella so it's about and also umbrella is connected to protection hiding so you hide a little bit you don't show your true self and uh, you like to act aloof and uh, not show all of your cards okay this is the quality you do have and death being in reverse it's like you don't end things so you you are still very much uh, someone who leaves the door open or that diplomatic approach that i was earlier talking about someone who's a little diplomatic okay let's see what else wants to come out we have the four of wands so cake beautiful this talks about stability so see someone who's looking for a romantic commitment or a long term connection are uh, you could be the someone uh, you would be the kind of person pile number 3 people just assume this person is looking for long term commitment or they are looking for marriage they are looking for something serious and real and they will only date someone where there's a strong connection not just dating for fun you don't give that vibe the fool in reverse it's like again you're mature you uh, come across as someone that people take seriously and you're not the most impulsive person people see that you're a little slow to move you're slow to commit you're slow to make promises but you follow through you're responsible and trustworthy dependable sort of a person and not the most uh, you know i'm not getting strong mercury element here with this pile it's that energy of mercury can sometimes talk about a person who's naive person who maybe takes a few risks or someone who's I don't know fun light hearted bright it's not that energy so you're someone who who has to think twice before making a commitment or you're someone who's uh, I don't know maybe you don't go out a whole lot you don't take impulsive decisions that sort of energy you know people have to um we have three of swords here so I don't know people uh sometimes three of swords can talk about criticism also so you can be a little critical maybe or uh, blunt with your communication style where you just express your emotions and sometimes it might hurt people or you might be afraid of criticism or afraid of getting rejected getting hurt in love that's why you don't date take chances we have the two of swords so difference of opinion is something that uh came through with this card at the bottom we have the hierophant so someone who's wise old mature people learn from you people follow you people listen to you we see two cats here listening in and after that we have the 10 of cups so this is talking about relationships also someone who's looking for something real right so um, yeah i think people take you seriously people assume that you might be a little harsh or a little rude but uh, once they get to know you you're slightly different a lot of people misjudge you also i feel like with the two of swords and the three of swords i'm getting this energy people assume the wrong things about you they misjudge you and uh, you're slightly different especially it's talking about uh, swords with the it's it can talk about communication style so once they clear things out when they start talking to you they get a better idea of who you are as a person pile number 3 okay that's what i'm getting so yeah that was the reading pile number 3 let me know if this resonated what resonated what didn't let me know if you want to book a reading with me you can find the links in the description my ko-fi shop my email address you can write to me and uh, yeah if you want to support the channel consider becoming a member but yeah with that Let's close the reading. I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Have a good one.